Exodus chapter 17. All the congregation of the people of Israel moved on from the wilderness of Sin by stages, according to the commandment of Yahweh, and camped at Rephidim. But there was no water for the people to drink. Therefore the people quarreled with Moshe and said, Give us water to drink. And Moshe said to them, Why do you quarrel with me? Why do you test Yahweh? But the people thirsted there for water, and the people grumbled against Moshe and said, Why did you bring us up out of Mitzrayim to kill us and our children and our livestock with thirst? So Moshe cried to Yahweh, What shall I do with this people? They are almost ready to stone me. And Yahweh said to Moshe, Pass on before the people, taking with you some of the elders of Israel, and take in your hand the staff with which you struck the Nile, and go. Behold, I will stand before you there on the rock at Horev, and you shall strike the rock, and water shall come out of it, and the people will drink. And Moshe did so in the sight of the elders of Israel, and he called the name of the place Massah and Meravah, because of the quarreling of the people of Israel, and because they tested Yahweh by saying, Is Yahweh among us or not? Then Amalek came and fought with Israel at Rephidim. So Moshe said to Yehoshua, Choose for us men, and go out and fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the staff of Elohim in my hand. So Yehoshua did as Moshe told him, and he fought with Amalek, while Moshe, Aharon, and Hur went up to the top of the hill. Whenever Moshe held up his hand, Yisrael prevailed, and whenever he lowered his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moshe's hands grew weary, so they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it, while Aharon and Hur held up his hands, one on one side and the other on the other side. So his hands were steady until the going down of the sun, and Yehoshua overwhelmed Amalek and his people with the sword. Then Yahweh said to Moshe, Write this as a memorial in a book, and recite it in the ears of Yehoshua, that I will utterly blot out the memory of Amalek from under the Shamayim. And Moshe built an altar, and called the name of it Yahweh Nisi, saying, A hand upon the throne of Yah, Yahweh will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. Amen.